Hi. Today we're going to talk about doing the job Jesus gave us. And our first question is, what's that? What's the job Jesus gave us? Well, after Jesus died and rose from the dead, he called his disciples together to meet him on a particular mountain. And he gave them their marching orders. He gave them their job description. And we find this in Matthew chapter 28, starting with verse 19. Here's what it says. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. Now, the first thing to notice here is that there's only one verb in the command voice, and that is the, the verb make disciples. And so the basic central command, the basic thing that Jesus is telling us is it is our job to make disciples. The next thing is I wanna think about where does this disciple making process begin? What's the starting point? And he tells his disciples, make disciples of all the nations. Go to all the nations and make disciples. Now think about who was listening to this. His disciples were all Jewish. They had all grown up from young children being taught, do not associate with the nations, do not go to the houses of people who belong to the nations who are not Jewish, do not touch them, they are nothing but trouble. In fact, that they, what they had learned was that people from the nations were so dirty, so unclean, that if they accidentally touched one on the way to temple, they needed to go back home to wash before they could go to God's temple to worship. And so to the disciples, when they heard Jesus say, go to the unbelieving nations, that was super challenging. It was super scary. And honestly, I bet it seemed almost wrong. But that is the starting point of the Great Commission. The starting point of making disciples are unbelievers. That's where we begin. What's the ending point? Look what he says. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And so the end product is not converts, it's not church members, the end product needs to be disciples. Disciples who obey the commands of Jesus. Disciples who do what Jesus says. Now, if we're going to set out to make disciples who obey all the commands of Jesus, we need to ask ourselves, what are Jesus' commands? And one guy once came up to Jesus and said, hey, Jesus, what's the most important commandment? And how did Jesus respond? Jesus said the most important commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, all your mind. And the second commandment is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. So if we're making disciples who obey Jesus' commands, those disciples are going to love God and they're going to love the people around them. We have another command here in Matthew 28. The command is make disciples. So if we're making obedient disciples, they're going to love God, they're going to love the people around them, and they're going to make disciples who do the same. That's the output. That's what we're we're shooting for. How are we doing? I know back when I used to work in the corporate world, my bosses would ask me to do a self-evaluation, and I always hated that because I always wanted to say I'm awesome, but I was too embarrassed to say that. Anyway, let's do a self-evaluation now. And let's ask ourselves first, if we're putting into practice the Great Commission, if we're doing a good job at what Jesus has given us to do, what would be the symptoms? What should we see? And the answer really is very simple. The job is make disciples. If we're doing that job, we should see disciples. Um, in, in a very simple sense, if you want to test if you're obeying the Great Commission or not, all you need to do is just look behind you. And if when you look back, you see disciples who are loving God, loving people, and making more disciples, who are then making more disciples, who are then making more disciples, then you're doing the Great Commission. 
And if you look behind you and you don't de see disciples making disciples, then you're not. And I remember hearing this message, actually right here in the Bridge Church, maybe 20 years ago, an old missionary came and said that the symptom that we're looking for, if we're obeying the Great Commission, is a chain of disciples making disciples. And I asked myself, do I see that in my own life? And I realized the answer was no, no, I do not see a chain of disciples making disciples in my own life. And that was super challenging for me because at the time I was the missions pastor at this church. And I thought, well, I've got an influence over a large number of people, but honestly, it's a fairly superficial influence. And I'm not seeing that, that I've got a deep disciple-making, multiplying influence on anybody. And I took that to heart. Honestly, my wife and I have spent probably a, the last 15 or 20 years of our lives trying to reorganize our lives so that we could say, yes, I do see a chain of disciples making disciples making disciples when I look behind myself. So don't get discouraged if your answer is no or not yet. We'll just start step by step to build the skills and habits you need to do the job Jesus gave you. I look forward to spending more time with you. Blessings.